We, the men of Pala, stand as the last bearers of Buddhism in these sacred lands. While I do not desire to see the land engulfed in war for the sake of my beliefs, I do wish to ensure the preservation of our dearest holy sites. Early on in my rule of Gaia, I met Lilavati, my wife. For hours we would discuss matters of faith and state. Truly, I've been blessed with a wise partner for the coming trials. In the years thereafter, our coffers were dedicated to elevating Gaia and the Mahabodhi Temple. To the southeast, I heard of Thakur Laksamsura's rule over Dominaiko. A fearful military leader, he ruled with an iron fist over his subjects. While violence is not permitted by my beliefs, I had to act in their name. Though swift, that war would spread to Rajarapa and even further to the southwest, to the lands of Munda. With the leadership of our marshal, our borders have expanded. Through my administration, our lands have become known as a haven of tolerance and wealth. Through all of this, I've been blessed with two children, a son and a daughter. As a gift, they'll be tutored and taught all that I know, so that they can see more clearly than their peers. Now, it is time for my council. Welcome now to our second council, where the wisest minds have come together to counsel our lord. Let us begin with some simple news first, about the change of the house motto to, Through wisdom, all is made known. These words will light the way for our Lord Ashoka's house, and let others know of their intent. Oh, and do remember that if your words are not heard, you just need to try again. We only have so many spots on our council per session. Now, for our first council member, Yash of Gaia. Though I am not from these lands, I find myself more at home now than at many others. Our Lord is a kind man and slow to anger. Your experience has value in these halls. While we'll see if military or diplomatic means will be used to achieve our ends, I know our goals align with your intent here. In time, we'll see the coastline and unite the kingdom under a more just rule. Maya Rum, welcome, and your flight from the southern kingdom sounds like a harrowing one. While I cannot say that we'll see that kingdom lost to your family, I can promise you a rightful home here where your family can rest, thrive, and prosper with us. Oh, and if they dare to encroach northwards, well, we have solutions for those threats. Be at peace, friend. Mahathi, please be mindful that your words, while sincere, are treacherous. As you may know, our Lord Ashoka is friends with whom he serves. Please, stay in our court and temples, where your knowledge can be put to use. If corruption is found there, Lord Ashoka will root it out. Now for an addition to our usual council. We have special members of note. This includes Ju Bao, a talented diplomat from the Eastern Lands. Greetings, Counselor. I'm a trained diplomat from the Northern Song Dynasty, and I've come far to serve here, where people share my faith. We should take the holy sites, for peace of mind can fuel a kingdom more than soldiers alone. Excuse me, my lord. I am Rao, a warrior from the Western Kingdoms. I've joined the barracks and I must have my word heard. Go on, Rao. Yes, we must expand, but we must do so with caution. Reckless wars have destroyed many kingdoms. I do not wish the same for our home. Thank you. Both of your councils will be taken into consideration. Now, we have two more to introduce. Both a foreigner from... My... A Varangian from the West? Well, you are welcome here, Ragnar. And of course, we have our spiritual guide, Jai, who has been with our Lord from the beginning. We expect great feats from all of you. Be at peace, friends. When you look at the entire map, it's very easy to feel small. Here we have our little portion of land. In comparison to the many great kingdoms around us, much less the great empires even further out, we feel quite small but in time we're going to grow and we're not just going to destroy everything we're here to build things up bit by bit now we've got many characters we can look at Chu Bao right over here 22 years old I found for him a young lady who is 16 years old she's a genius too we don't know who her father is but here's her mother right over here Ragnar he also came down we know of him 20 years old, and I found for him a wife as well. She's a giant and quite pretty. 
she's got a child from another father. Now Jai, well, he's around. He's a very wise man too. Let's see, you're 23, you're also married. We found another genius. I was actually quite shocked at how many geniuses were around here. Rao, 25 years old. He's Herculean and one aspiring blade master. He's also married. And let's see, we've got a few other characters too. Here's Hira, a child of our marshal. She's intelligent. You get that from your mother, not your father, who is my marshal. Now, why don't you do a matrilineal marriage? Oh, hello there, Dom Chu. You are only 26 and you've got 20 prowess. Come on, let's go right now. Come join me. Then we've got Yash. So we are watching over many characters and hopefully over time, they'll have their own families. Right over here, I've got a development of 27. I'm doing pretty well, it seems. Good. So now we have another new warrior. We'll have to watch out. We do have holy sites to pick up and here's a new perk. Clerical justifications, I'll take that. Religious relations efficiency up by 20%. Speaking of, let's have a look at my council. They're all doing a great job right now. I'm getting even more piety. Look at how much I have. Death of a pet. Now, that's a shame. You know what? It's in a better place now, but take your time to grieve. I'll lose dread, which is fine. That was my servant's pet dog. Here, we are gonna be kind, where we can. Gopala, he's still my champion too. Here's my tax collector, who's currently 17. He's got two children, and his wife is again pregnant. Well, good for you, my friend. He's a great warrior too, though he needs to work on not being a sinner. You cheated on your wife, Gopala. You know better, my friend. Now, I've got more money, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build up a new building. I could use more money. Let's build a forestry. If we've got lumber, we should probably use it. It's a good tool to have. And down over here, Ah, uh, they need more control. My dear Marshal, you'll be done in less than one year. Very good. We've got one major event over here pertaining to my child and another one pertaining to my wife. She found 75 gold. Well, thank you, my dear. And over here, Defender of the Faith, Devadatta, my son, was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on behalf of the Enlightened and chased away the other children. I could let him become zealous, sure, but we're not going to do that. We're not only religious, we not only have our faith, but we're also scholars too. Do not be afraid. Charge in when you have to. And there we go. He's brave now. That's my boy. He won't be exactly like me, but that's okay. Black tea, also known as red tea, is considered a precious commodity in this part of the world. I have been given several blocks of dried black tea as a gift. Wonderful. Look at that. It's from China too, plus one to my diplomacy and a small boost over to my health. We've gotten so many cool events and over here, my wife has helped out again with my well-organized court. Everyone in my court likes me a bit more too. Ah, there's my son again, 10 years old. Now with my money, I should probably spend a little bit of coin. Let's save up a bit more. 9.5 income. Ah, oh, what a shame. I should still have my five spices anyway. Hopefully he'll be back one day, one year. Okay, so right now we're waiting for a little bit more money. 225 is what I need. Perfect. It's all gone now. I've got my elephant pins and my marshal is done increasing control. So now come over here. It'll take you 10 years, but Munda, they need a lot of help. Control is a large issue over here. We're getting little to no tax money, but once they're feeling better, once they're doing better, then we'll get a lot more money after that. Look at my daughter go. She's taking after our family. She's calm now, as she well should be. We're at 74 gold. It's only going up. We've got our wooden barracks. We'll build up even more once I have over 200 gold. That'll take a bit of time, but we can do that. Unfortunately, one person died in my minor council right over here. She's gone now but we can hire another young lady. And so you were hired. She died of what? Natural causes. She was only 44. My steward is no longer married. We'll find him a wife. 
There. Now you're married. Hopefully you'll have a child or two. But be at peace. She did a great job earning us all a lot more money. 112, 9.8 for my income. My wife currently has typhus. Okay. Be careful. Treat her now. Do not let her die. She's feeling poor. She could pass on. That would be a tragedy. And I would not like that. Now, my stress is also going up. And thankfully, she's feeling better. That would have been quite bad. But I'm going to let it go to level 1. And I'll show you why in just a little while. Okay. Jai. We can talk about Serenity. Oh, he's been working out. Good for him. 100 piety for me. He's pleased. I've got a new perk. Why don't we take up Religious Icon? Yeah, there we go. Convert Faith and County. Won't cause me any issues anymore. I've got 171 gold, but I do want more. We could fight a war, but I don't want to yet. We're just building up. Though, I do want to claim over here, and there is one reason for that. Because I want a Holy Sight. Plus two to learning. I want that. We might as well try to get it. And over in Nepal, one day I would like to convert them, if I can. It is time for a break from Devadatta's routine lesson plan. I think it may be a good time to pass along some values of House Suryavanchi to him. So, he would be able to gain plus one to diplomacy or learning. I will hone his skills. There. I'm a bit more stressed out, but have a look at that. Because of who I am, because of my scholarship, I can pick up over here, journaler, which is ideal. My stress goes down. Now I've got a new tool to use. We're going to write down my thoughts over here. Occupied writing for one year. Diplomacy goes down, but that's all right. I dip my pen once more. Okay, after that, why don't we meditate? We should. We've got to, I think. Let's come over here to Gaia. Done. That looks good to me. I've got money. I could invite over a few knights, but I don't want to because I just want more money. We have many neighbors who could easily fight me and potentially win, so I've got to watch out. Oh, look at that income. Back over to my capital. They're doing fine. For my temple, let's upgrade it. That's where I'm meditating, by the way. Right over here. But I'm gaining more stress. Soon, hunger overcame me, however, and I realized that the provisions I brought were woefully insufficient. What a shame. My stress went back up. Oh, no. Over 10 gold now. And over here, the county is doing much better. Point 0.22 now. It's going up. Oh, I've got the money. Well, good. We'll pick up a claim. They are fighting wars over here. They're quite unstable. She's quite young, too, at 22. What about you? Their leader has cancer to the south. Oh, that's tragic. All right, so people in my court are currently married, which is good. First harvest offerings. It is the first harvest of the season. And a traditional way to make merit is to offer up the first harvest to the monks. I could say the people. Sure. That would give me more popular opinion. But what about the monks? I am about the monks, but also the people. Let them get an offering. I think that's a really good idea. Okay, my boy has three years to go, then he'll be of age. We do have a lot of stress right now, and I do want to bring it down. Now here's a good combination. We do have mystical communion. If I pick it up, I'll get divine guidance. Sure, I'll get plus one to martial and learning, but more importantly, have a look at how it's going to impact my stress. For five years, too. Notify me whenever it becomes available again. I've got to use it more. It's a great way for me to level up. And there we go. By the way, my development over in Gaia is going up by one in just a moment. We're at 27. We're about to be at 28. There's my new perk. I'll pick up profit. 1% piety increase per night. Incredible. And it would be cheaper for me to create my faith or even reform it. Now, we don't need to reform. But I could create a new branch of Buddhism. One that is a bit more befitting of what we're trying to do. We're trying to take our holy sites and also protect what we have. So tell me if I should. You can give me your input on that. And if I should, then what tenets should we have? What should we change up over here? Alright. 
Now, let's go back down. I've got 90 gold. I've got to come back and host a beast. Let's do that right now. There we go. I feel a lot better. Then, I'll probably go on a retreat. But for now, let's have a good time. Oh, not too many are showing up. We don't have a lot of nobles, you know. Look at that. My leader, 41 years old. He's a bit younger than me. He has only one heir. Really? Disaster strikes. I do not have 85 gold, but we can all pitch in. There. That gave me a bit more money, which is fine and dandy. A laudable effort. Look at my wife. No, my wife deserves all the credit. Now, my vassals will like me more. My courtiers will like me more, and my guests too. Wonderful. A feast with a friend, which is my wife. All right, so we've got reinvigorating friendship for five years. I've got a huge boost over to my health. She likes me more. And there goes all of my stress. That went very well. Okay, let's have a look now. I'll go on a pilgrimage once I have more money. But for now, for free, I can go back to a monastery. I'll be gone for one year. I'll be back one day, but not right now. One year. I've got my job. A lesson on wisdom. Sure, I'll gain more stress, but I'm here to help out my children. My son is currently 14. He just turned 14. Look at him go. He's growing. Forgiving, brave, calm. What a good kid. Back to basics. It's all about breathing. In and out. I am alive. I am here. Okay, so right now, there is a liberty war going on. I'm not here to kill my own people. I don't want to. I know that we took a few lands, but if they want to be free, then I cannot tell them no. Let's have a look. My tax collector is gone. Oh no. Another one gone. You're married too. Let's have a look around real quick at who's not married. I try to ensure that everyone is married in my court. So let's come down and we go to marital status, unmarried, Yash. What happened? Your wife died of what? Oh, in childbirth. Tragic. You've got one son. Oh, your son survived. Okay. Well, Yash, you can be married again. Let's find someone good for you. I try to find people who've got traits. It's a good way for us to have many people who've got congenital traits in our court. Jai, 51 years old. He's still going. Well, go you, buddy. Ragnar, what happened to your wife? You have no children. She died in childbirth as well. What is happening over here? All right, let's have a look again. I've got to find someone good for you. Someone who's pretty strong. 22 years old, Amazonian. Perfect. She's a bit stronger than you. That's great. Now those two can be married and hopefully again, they'll have children. Having children over here has proven to be quite difficult. Inspired moderation. Yeah, be temperate. You should be. That's my daughter. I'm a bit stressed out, but that's okay. My meditations are still going. Let's come back over here to my domain holdings, where I could potentially upgrade more stuff. 10.9 for income. My mind could begin to wander. I would gain more piety, so we'll take that for now. I'm not going to read it every single time that it pops up. Okay. Right over here. Elephant traps. We'll take it. New elephants are collected by trapping them using various means. More money and all of that. Nice work, everyone. Now, what about control over here? 38, only 38. We need a lot more for sure. The retreat has finally ended, too. Our war is nearly over. Yeah, our king won. He's about to end it all. Now, I do have a fear. I've been thinking a bit about it. Have a look over here. Here's a major kingdom. They've got over 5,000 men. If they choose to raid my lands, which they very well could, I wouldn't be able to stop them. That bothers me so much. And I've got to wonder, my boy, could we find a genius for you? I'm not in a rush for him to have children, and here's why. My health is quite good. I should be around for a very long time. If I die of some disease, if I die of maybe, I don't know, an assassination or a war, then that's a different story, but otherwise, I should be here for a very long time. My income is going up, and... Oh, Hira, you died? Was it in childbirth? 
Yeah, you too. What a shame. You had two daughters. Well, goodbye now. I've got to find someone for you to marry. They've got to have a trait too. What is happening over here? So many are dying in childbirth. I do not like that. We've got to find someone who's rather young. 23. Perfect. Okay. Now hopefully you two will have children. Because if you do, we could have potential powerful heirs that could serve me later on. Speaking of, after my boy comes of age, I could tutor other children who've got good traits. Probably a good idea. Church and state, I'll take that. Realm Priest Opinion up by 50. They all love me, but they're going to love me more. Okay, so down over here, what do we need? We could use a new holding. Could I upgrade anything? I can. There we go. Hound pins. Well, point two would not be a lot. Oh well, I'll take one of them. There. Anything we can do to help out, I'll do it. And over here to the west, we have a war that we could fight, but have a look at that. They're about to be broken apart. They're led by a small child. That kingdom is done for. And my boy came of age, too. Look at that. A tier 4 education. Might is touched. Incredible. I'll find a wife for you once we find someone who's rather intelligent. Or we could go for a physical trait. That's an option, too. They've got to be fairly young. I think that's a good idea. But... I'm going to wait for a few years because I don't want them to have children too young. Otherwise, that child will end up being way too old by the time I pass on. That wouldn't be good for our stability. I'll wait and see then. Wait, Gopala, you died. Oh, he died of natural causes at 47. That is not ideal at all. Goodbye, my friend. Now, here's what we need to do. We've got to pick out a new champion. Ragnar, you've been here for seven years. I know you want to fight. Now you can be my court champion. If you die, I can't replace you. Okay, so what if we got a duchy claim over here? I think that would be a very good idea. Let's wait for that war to end for now. There we go. They have a new kingdom right over here. And I could use a duchy myself. It'll take two years, but that's okay. Man, I love that my development has only gone up. And we'll keep on going up. My wife is not feeling well. Oh, you better recuperate. In time, I'll need a new doctor. Stone of glass again. Go buy me one. I just have a lot of them, don't I? Yeah, I'll get my boy married later on. I could go on a pilgrimage. My stress is okay. Yeah, I'm feeling fine. There's not too much I need to do, but I would like to meditate. Let's go do that. Off we go. Wherever, really. A lesson on wisdom. Sure. My child is doing better. The Christians now have crusades. You have a Pope who's 25. Incredible. All right. Let's come over here and find someone new to educate. If my boy came of age, we can find... Let's see, you're two. Let's find a good Chancellor. Mao Jong Bao. Hey, your father is currently my Chancellor. Sure. I'm not going to change up your culture. Your culture is fine. Perfect, so I could educate him. Look at that little group. Only 93 men. You're not gonna get very far with that, pal. My biggest fear came true. Look at that, over 6,000 men coming to raid. If they come over here, I've got no way to stop them. And our king is not defending for whatever reason. What are you doing, king? And now my learning has gone up by one. I've become better at it. Radiant. Level of Devotion Impact up by 100%. We are done there. Oh no. He's coming to my territories. I've been working on that town for so long. Now I'm angry. King, what have you done? Well, you know, he's not angry, but I'm angry. <laughs> Earthly Focus. We'll do it again. Every single time, I'll do it again. Alright. I've got to grow in power then. Our king... He had the manpower to stop them, but he didn't. What's over here? Okay, so you like me more. Well, good. We're all doing quite well, I think. They're leaving. I'm not gonna have revenge and go raid their lands. They could catch me and we could lose even more than we already did. What a shame. Okay. What's over here? No, I need a proper duchy title. That's what I need. Okay. Once I have it... 
Then we can conquer everything over there. That's a much better call. Resin collectors, good. And another communion, I'll take that. Done. Uh-oh, I'm feeling ill. It happens. I'll be all right. Yeah, give me a basic treatment. And while we're doing that, it's about time for me to journal. Huh, great. That's how I can manage a lot of my stress. It feels really good. It's a really good feeling to be able to do that. All right. Will I need mercenaries? Maybe. I feel better again. I would like to build up whatever I can over here, really. Yeah. Mud brick towers. That's fine. Over here, we could get... What, then? Fell pastures. Whatever I can do to make a touch more coin, but let's also get more levies, too. Another perk? Defender of the Faith. Diplomacy per level of devotion plus one and 20% more piety. I could easily create a new branch of Buddhism. Shared prayer. What's over here? Interesting. Okay, so we're talking to a few local merchants. They're talking about theology and wealth. Huh. I would invest. No, we can convince them. Then they'll gain temple grounds, really? Well, I like that. That's great, then. Okay, Mao Jiang. I'm here to educate you. He's beginning to take after me, which is really not a bad thing at all. Okay, let's get ready now. We're just building up. We're about to get more development, too, over in Gaia. Here's a really good event. Have any of you ever done that, where you go on a walk and you just continue on and you just feel great afterwards? It's a good feeling. I can understand that a lot. Okay, what do you want? You want a book over here? Well, I can't go into debt. Oh, my dear friend. I am very sorry, but I cannot go into debt. Not for anyone. That would hurt our people a lot. Wait, Paula! You got it! Yeah, they came to serve in our lands. Well, look at him, he's a drunkard. And he's not of our faith, which is really not the biggest deal in the world, but he's a drunkard. That is a problem. We do need that holy site. I've got to have it. And so we are going to have it. A gift of generosity. Well, you're going to be a chancellor. Yeah, sure, you'll lose some money, but you'll gain more diplomacy. Not a bad idea. But I can't believe they came to join. We still do need that claim. Hopefully we'll get it too. I've been trying to save up my piety just in case we want to create a new branch of Buddhism. However, if I can't get a claim on a duchy over here, then I'll buy a claim. I've got the piety. It should be maybe four to 500 piety for, I believe, a duchy title. We'll see in a moment. Now, for my heir, you've got to be married. Let's find someone who's quite talented. At learning. Okay, it's you then. Hold on. You've got no titles. Though, you belong to nobility. Right, have a look at her family name. Not only that, her sister used to rule. She died at 24. She was a Maharani. Well then. You two can be married. If you've got no title it was taken from you, then you should probably join my family. That's a good idea. Done. Those two will be married. Now, over here, what about you, my dear daughter? We could get a very powerful alliance. That's true. However, what about a fairly strong young man? I want you to stay here, largely because she's going to be a great tutor to have. I'll have to have a look around. Or maybe not. There we go. Herculean. That's great. I'm trying to cultivate a very talented court, if possible. Now, let's have a look over here at my military. There we go. Ragnar can fight now. Let's get ready for that war. It's about to happen right over here. Who is trying to kill people? All of you need to calm down right now. But now many people are married. Even my own son. Hopefully, they'll do fine and have many children. One counselor died. She was my spy master. She died at 61 of natural causes. And you'll be my new spy master. 20 intrigue is really good. I'm not here to plot. I'm only here for him to disrupt any schemes. It's all defensive for me. There we go. Only a county claim? That will not do. So, here's what I'm going to do then. You joined our kingdom. I get it. You want to stay safe, but you are a drunkard. 
That holy site should not be in the hands of a drunkard. Now, let's buy a claim. Look at that, 500. But I do have a lot, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's come back over here. We can focus on theology now. I'm still pretty young, but I do want more piety. That's great. Okay. Now, what we need to do, we just need to come over here and declare war. I've got my claims. Let's get all of my men together. By the way, my development is about to go up. Oh, and because of how large these lands are, they could easily go around. I know that much. I could hire mercenaries. That could be a very good idea to save me time. Here we go. They'll come join me. Perfect. Then after that, we'll get everyone together. I've got my army together now. Okay, they're moving over here. I'll be close by. I've got my mercenaries and my mangonels out. If you don't want to let me besiege you, well, I'll come over there too. Don't worry about it. Let's try to chase him down. Defending in the jungle. I think we could do it. All of you, head over here. Yeah, we should be able to do it. Here's a battle now. I've got 10 champions, one being Ragnar. Let's have a look. Gazing at clouds. Huh. It does look like a sign from Buddha. Five more piety for me. I'll take it. I'll invite over a few new champions in the future. We've got to keep a very, very talented cast. I mean, if we don't do that, we're gonna be in trouble. We want to ensure that every actor here is able to perform quite well. And warriors are needed to keep us going. Okay, now we can chase them down. We won one battle. We lost over 200 men. Wow, he did a pretty good job not being slaughtered. I did oversleep. It happens, I suppose. They lost over 500 men. Ragnar killed 42. Rao, 34. Yash, 32. Chimi, 29. And we caught their best warrior, too. Good. All right. Let's go chase a few enemies down. I've just got to watch out for them. While we besiege, then we should be fine. Oh, yeah. There they are again. My daughter came of age. Well, good. You two can be married now. And I have a new warrior. He's going to fight for me. And hold on. If you're in my family, you should probably convert. He's willing to, which is fine. I'm not forcing him then, am I? Okay, look at that. 60 gold gained. I'm coming over here for not only new territory, but more importantly, that holy site. Plus two to learning. I want that. Then I'll have control of two holy sites. Great. Oh, they're moving away quickly. We'll try to follow them if we can. Right over here. Don't you bother my army. Oh, they're doing it. Okay. We're going to help out then. And I've made it. Another counselor died of his wounds. Really? Munda, you died of your wounds? What a shame. Well, goodbye, my friend. Let's come back over here to my council. I need a new spy master. I suppose it could be you. All right. Let's go back into the battle. Oh, I need a new doctor. Okay. Let's try to find a new doctor. Come on, mercenaries. Hold out. I'm nearly there. Don't lose a battle. They're okay now. Okay. But on. Do I hire you? Yeah, sure. He's very good. 90 gold. I'll take that. You are very much hired. Would you mind converting? There. Okay. That looks really good to me. He's currently fighting out there, but I'll change that up later. We just beat them. And I've gained attentive care, a massive boost over to my health. I can go back to besieging. I've got a new perk too. Theologian, I'll take that. That gives me right now plus three to learning, 20% more piety. 18.9 per month. All right, let's move. We can wait for their army again. And I've gained fell pastures too. 25 more gold gained. It's okay because all that gold will go back into their lands. I'm not going to keep it forever. They've got over 900 men. Are they going to try to fight again? Maybe. I don't know. But we're about to win. It shouldn't take much longer. Oh, they've got a mercenary now. A lesson on wisdom. Sure, Mal. 
plus one to his diplomacy. I'm raising a great chancellor who's going to work for my kingdom, my future kingdom. The war is about to be over, but before we do that, we should probably get limited crown authority. There we go. Now we'll have a bit more power over new vassals. And I do believe my wife is bored. She decided to become an architect, which is not a bad thing. It's over now. We won. Maybe I should beat their final army over here, because if I don't do that, they'll be pretty strong whenever they join my faction properly. But for now, I suppose we can avoid a bit more bloodshed. Oh, he's going to hate me a lot. I knew it. Already, he's not a big fan of me. Let's have a look over here. You've got a lot of power. I could give you a gift. 100 gold. Then, if you convert and you want to, you might not join a faction. That would be great. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Because whenever you conquer a bunch of people, well, they usually want to break free again. There we go. You've got two members. One over here, one there. If it's only you two, that wouldn't be too bad. It looks like... That young man over here, Pulindaka, he would like to be friendly with me, which is a good choice. You know what? We'll sway him, just to ensure he's going to be on my side. And if these two want to rebel, then so be it. They've got my holy site. It's right over here. Now we've got plus two to learning. Have a look at that now. We've got two holy sites under our control. I would like another one. Bumbini over here would be great. And I would like to convert other lands too, like Nepal. I think that would be really good. One day we'll do that. Maybe not yet, but one day. If I had more prestige, we could take an entire kingdom. Now that would be a great buffer, but we've got to wait. Maybe one day my son will be able to do that. I cannot. Okay, if we're over here, it's about time to meditate. Let's go out to the lands we conquered. There. You want to make me a tax collector. I'm telling him no, because if I do that, people are going to hate me. Yeah, we won that battle. I'll keep it short and professional. Look at all that extra income. But I've got to save up just in case I need mercenaries, depending on what they have. Oh, come on. Break over that little line. I dare you. We're done now. I have no stress. I feel better. I'm better at meditation. And while we're over here, my marshal, you'll come over here instead. 23 months? Yeah. Help out with our overall control. We need it. We definitely, definitely need it. Now, Master of the Horse, here's a new minor title. I'll give that to you, Maharam. And to Jai, we can talk about generosity. He's gone up in power too. Good for him. Hi, Almoner. 38 learning, it's got to be you. You can donate to the poor. Sure, a few people might be angry, but have a look at that. 22.9 for piety. Mao Jiang, your diplomacy went up by one. He's becoming quite good. If we could find another intelligent young lady to marry him, that would be ideal. I'll have to look for that carefully. Because if we could have more intelligent people... Well, we're going to have a great council as we go along. I see strong people, beautiful people. You can sort by traits, of course, right over here. Or you could even just search by those traits. Quick is not too bad. Here we go. Intelligent. You two can be married. Your child will be a genius. Wonderful. My doctor is now one renowned physician. Great. 23 learning. Why don't you get married? She's also rather intelligent. There we go. And beyond that, let's have a look at a title I can take. Wait, my friend over here who used to be my leader, he was given that title, but he doesn't own a single bit of territory over here anyway. I'll take it from him. I'm very sorry, my friend, but that does not belong to you. Yeah, he's doing fine. He's going to be okay. He's right over here. He's got his what? one area. He's got another duchy title anyway over lands I own too, which is certainly an issue. We can talk about that later on. If I could get more claims, that would be a good thing. Actually, if I got a claim over here, that would be very good. I think I should probably have one. 
only because we need to secure all these lands. We're trying to build a proper area for all of our holy sites. But there we go. I now have two duchies. Look at my power. Not one Raj, but two. My rule can continue. I'm currently 53. I have no grandchildren, surprisingly. Oh, you're not feeling well, but you're quite strong, so you'll be okay. 14 for prowess, 18 normally. I went ahead and looked at every child in my cord. Every single one that had a lifestyle focus, or was of the age to have one, I mean, they were given a teacher. Everyone here should be educated, because if we do that, we'll have a better cord for future generations, and I'll keep on doing that, and hopefully I can find something to make it a little bit easier to find out who doesn't have an educator, because if I could get an educator for each and every child, again, we're just going to have a very rich court. Well, look at that. My daughter had a son. You can name him after me. That's a good option. I'm not going to be your tax collector. Now, if I wanted to provoke these people over here, I could. We're standing really at the edge, but I do want them to rebel at some point. If they're angry, I would rather them come out and confront me rather than try to plot. Okay, good. Control is changing. Nine years, two years. We'll take that one. The other area, well, that's going to take a long time. When it comes to what I want, well, I've got many goals. And sure, I can join your little party. Yeah, it's right over here. True nod. I'll join you. We can all get along a little bit more. Interesting. Higher standards of courtesy for five years. More prestige. Come on now, you know better. Don't do that. And over here, we could become friends. Sure. Let's be buddies, you and me. Very well. Having friends is a really good thing. I'm not stressed at all. I'm about to get a new perk point. I've got a lot of money too, so why don't I call in a few good champions? We could always use a bit more, I think. Chinese Polo. Polo has been popular here for many generations. It is no surprise to hear that the people of China also enjoy it. The women often play polo in many parts of the world. Some claim Chinese women as the best polo players in the world. Interesting now. Now, our women are just as good. Plus five to popular opinion. There. We could say that. Wow. 31 prowess. Really? Look at him. You've got to join me. 100? Hey, you're worthwhile, my friend. Come on down. Let's get you married to someone who's decent. Yeah, sure. Why not her? Hopefully in time, they'll have children, bud. He's going to be a great champion to have. Our leader is under attack again. Is it another liberty war? Ah, uh, the tyranny of our leader. We know of it. Wash your hands. You've got to. Mao Jiang, look at how well you're doing. Level 4, he's a great eminence over here. That's quite a bit of diplomacy too. 26 is a lot. Who's able to marry? You two are. Well, that's good. I was able to invite in many good champions. And hopefully those two will have children. Because if they do, they're going to have a genius. Which is what we want right now. So, I've been building up my military a little bit. Right over here, I've got more light footmen. I've got another group of mangonels. But I've also got to make more money. And who needs a tutor? I could have you stay here with me, that's true. What about Jai? Go help out Jai. Now, we could conquer more territory. I think I might have to. They've got what I need right over here. Now, why do I need it? Well, it belongs over to my entire Raj. Which is what I want right now. I'll take that as we go along. And also, we need to become stronger. And you know why. Have a look over here. There's another holy site I want. But it'll take me time to get it. Or, I could try to get a claim now. That's true. That way we could have every single holy site. However, if I do that, we're going to have quite a few issues. Even more people won't like me. You have a look at them. You've got your two members. I'll try to sway you over to my side, okay? Yeah, I'll have him begin to like me. But for you, you've got lands that should belong to me. However, it's going to be a fairly long war because he's got quite a few soldiers. That's okay, though. I've got my claim. Let's get ready. They're all here now. Okay, let's come down and hopefully quickly win 
We'll have to fight their army. I'll leave behind my mangonels. Yeah, I can do that much. They're getting closer. They're probably going to besiege one of my towns, but they're pretty far away from them. What's over here now? Save the money for now. As I've got to build a few new buildings, we've got burrs. We've got a new innovation. And no, I don't want to become a tax collector. Please respect my wishes over here. All right. There's my mangonels again. Keep a few levies. The rest of my army, we can go out and fight. I do believe we can win, too. Let's go get them. Don't you get away from me. I'm known for my dedication to my faith. Well, we all know that. A fornicator. Oh, no. Look who did that. He used to be a ruler, too. No longer. All right. I've got to keep an eye on him. Consecrate bloodline. Oh, look at that. 2,500 piety. I'll think about it. It's a nice benefit, but I've got to think about it because we might change up our religion. If we do, I'll need someone to really tell me and convince me what tenants we should have, what name we should have, all of that. We've got one area. Good job. Okay, come over here now. We just need to weaken them a bit. And here's a battle to fight. Let's do it. Over 2,000. Oh, good. We've got more control. But we need even more. Okay, only three years. Not bad. It used to be many more. Yeah, later I might actually, I don't know, consecrate my bloodline. But that is a lot of piety. And here's our battle. The Battle of Behalda. The enemy commander has been wounded. I've got a great physician. And we are tearing right through them. It's over for now. Let's come over here. Right now, we're just trying to ensure that we have a few states, a few kingdoms that are Buddhist. And we're on our way. And give me more experience instead. We can talk about that topic. It keeps popping up, so I'm not going to read through the whole thing over and over. Renewed Jihad. Good luck to you. House Abbasid. They're still around, too. They're doing okay. Have a look at them. There's Egypt over here and the Persian Empire. Egypt is growing quite a bit. And, well, the Byzantine Empire, they have a rum problem. Wow. Not too much has really changed up. When you play at that earlier start date, so much more changes up. But off we go again. Let's go attack. And also watch over our own men. What's over here? I can make a very convincing argument. Done. He likes me a lot more. No rebellion then. I got him. He's on my side now. A new learning perk, okay. Iron Constitution, I want to be here for a long time, as long as I can be. I'm feeling what? Fine, okay. Not good, but fine. Hold on, they have a lot of men close by, so we've got to watch out. They could easily attack me, but they're not doing it, good. We'll go for them instead. All right, I have control of a new area. Let's go down over here. We're winning, we're doing it. That gave me 30 gold. Now, there is another reason why I want more lands. It's pretty simple, too. I can't easily take away titles, but I would like to give away titles to a few nobles of ours, and thankfully, that war is over. We're done here. It took only 15 months, and it belongs to me. I control five right now. That means more income for everyone. All right. Crop builds over here. Tax money, 0.5. We need more control. You've got three years to go. And they're actually doing fine, sure. All right, we've got everything together. My whole court is doing well. I've got a few vassals who don't like me, but that happens. Now, what's over here? I could ransom you, sure. I'm not going to. It's not what I do. A favor, huh? Not for me today. Let's come back over here. I'll let you go. Be gone. And for you, you've been here for a long time. You may go. Here's one more fellow. He's actually not too bad at intrigue. I'll take him. Now he's going to join me. That's what I want. I don't want them to have anyone who's got good intrigue skills. Not if I have them in my control. All right. I'm not going to give away any territories just yet. What's here does belong to me. Because again, we just want to make more money. However we can. We also want more levies too. So we'll take that. Barracks. We could take more of them. 
Let's have a look around real quick at my holdings. I've got a few. At least one or two. Alright, there we go. 15 gold coming in. I'm not going to become a tax collector. My wife encourages chivalry. So I gained what? A little bit more prestige, right. Only 75, but it adds up. It's more than I had before. I'm currently 57 years old. My son's a bit older, and we have a new war. Interesting, a holy war. That's way over here. And you're fighting who? A defender. Oh, they're in bad shape, aren't they? That's really far away. We're not going to join in that, no. That's way too far away. Right now, we're more concerned about what's happening in our homeland. So, our goal, as I said before, is to get holy sites. There's another one right over there. We want to gain it eventually. Nepal, oh! Well, have a look at that. They actually control it. But they're not of my religion as well. Fighting them would be too difficult. They've got too many allies. He's 67. If he passes on, then maybe we can consider changing things up over there. But for now, we just need to be careful. Let's have a look. Okay, instead of towers, why don't I tank up military camps? I've got to do what I can right now in order to ensure that we're getting more levies in. That's what I'm doing. I did commune with the Buddha, that gave me more experience, and here we go, a Chancellor of Pala. Now that is a much better position, I'll take that one. Not a tax collector, but have a look at that. Fellow Vassal Opinion, up by 15. More lifestyle experience for diplomacy, and more prestige. Well that's really good. I'm feeling pretty good, I'm 58 right now, we've got some power. I'm not going to conquer more lands. I just wanted to ensure that we had a very strong safety net, because we were raided. And I could not do a single thing about that. And there are still many great powers around me. Usually at this point, I'm stronger than most of my neighbors. But here, I've got to be careful. Thankfully, we're under a kingdom. So we're able to expand more if we want to. But we've got to carefully pick out what we do over time. Now look at that piety. 7,300. Let's come back down over here. I've got to make a bit more money if I can. It's all about making a little bit more money. I can pass on every bit of territory to my son. And a new perk. Okay, restraint. I'll take it. If I do that, I wonder... Ah, more piety again. I don't need more children. I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. I could also abdicate my throne and pass it on to my son now. He's currently 28. By the time I pass on, I'll probably be pretty old, I think. Okay, here's what we're going to do. It's been a long time, so we're going to go on a pilgrimage. I've got a bit of money. I can do it. Let's go over here to Lumbini. It's not too far away, but it's our future holy site that we're going to take. If only I could get a claimant. Man, you're still alive at 68. I'm not feeling well, but... I'm not going to give up either. I know I'm older, but I'm going. It's what I want to do. The arrival. Well, that was easy. Poverty's journey. Holy order, higher cost, down by 33%, and 250 for piety. That gave me a bit more. Cool. The return. Even better. Let's have a look at my culture real quick. Okay, the power of generosity. We can talk about that. He's flattered. Good. I've got my hound pins. Yeah, my culture is all over here to the east. I'm not sure how they're doing when it comes to development. We'll check later. And here's our Silk Road. I own one area. And they're going to be doing fine, I think. Do I want to replace anything over here? No. Well, not that I can. You belong to someone else. Have a look at that. Holding taxes up by 48%. It's a great way to make more money. They have not converted. We could have them convert. If they are around my holy site, as you well know. That would take three years. While we are here, why don't we do that? Again, I'm playing rather calmly and rather conservatively in comparison to how I usually do it. Usually I'm fairly aggressive, so to have all this land and only this land is rather a feat for me. Now what about my friend? I know he's my friend, but he's a Raj for only owning one bit of land, right? Or is it two? Well, no. He's got another vassal over here. His lands will eventually belong to me. Then I could take that title as well. That's true. 
I could do that. It's right over here. Now, again, my purpose would be to ensure that we have a good power base. Here, this should all be our power base. Also, we do want what should belong to us. The Landa. And these archery ranges. Have a look at that. The minute arms maintenance would go down by 6%. More archer damage and toughness. And skirmishers would be better too. If we have that, that would be a great boon. My daughter is only 24. She's had another child, Ronnie. She's also robust. My grandson over here named after me. He's rather strong too. He takes after his father. And I'm educating him. So he's going to have a good education no matter what. We're going to train him in the arts of diplomacy. When it comes to my son, he's not had a child yet, which is a shame. His wife could be a future queen. Though we do need a lot more prestige if we want to do that. Prestige we currently lack. So we have built up our base, I think. Have a look. That's why I wanted to conquer everything around us. And that's also why I've got to be careful when I get major claims. Because now we've got many minor lords who do not like me. Well, a few more like me than before. So you can tell me what you think we should be doing here. Where we should expand to next. What we should focus on. I'm getting older now, which is why we're making a few more decisions rather than letting time pass on. Because I'm 59, I could die in a few years. Or maybe I'll live for a long time. I don't really know. We've also got to think about if we do change to a new branch of Buddhism, what do we want our tenants to be? That's a really good question to me. We're not really pacifists. We are protectors. I wouldn't say that we're that aggressive. Because if I wanted to be aggressive, I would have conquered a lot more already. But I'm choosing to not be. So you can let me know what you think we should have for marriage doctrines, crime doctrines, clergy doctrines, all of that. And if we should even have a head of faith. Okay everyone, thank you for watching, and as always, until then.